hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to add fields in microsoft planner let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in microsoft planner i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go in Microsoft Planner, adding fields is quite limited as it doesn't support custom fields like some of the other project management tools you are familiar with. However, you can use existing features creatively to add structure to your tasks. All right. So once you are logged into your account, I want you to hover to the My Plans or your My Task if you want it. Now here, all I have to do is click the uh, three dots icon here that says More Options. All right click on the open and i want you to add a new task if you want for example i'm going to add a new task all right on the new task here what you could do is within the task you can add a checklist to outline subtasks or steps needed to complete the maintain task for example this one right here all right you can add a checklist and then for the note description you might want to put in something like um use the description box to uh, add additional details like for example instructions or any other text-based custom information all right because this field accepts formatted text and can hold a significant amount of information and obviously you can add a label now on the label right here you can customize that for example the blue you might want to put in say for example the blue one i'm going to put in that and press enter and i can add this as the field all right so i'm gonna edit this again instead of that press enter so this is going to be in the field all right instead of you creating a new field use the labels and put in a field all right and of course from here you can put a uh, due date for example it's going to be um start time due date time the priority if it's going to be urgent important medium or low and the progress if it's going to be already in progress or already completed you just have to be creative and again if you can add an attachment here to provide the relevant documents spreadsheets or images this serves as a reference for any task related materials all right and again you can integrate your microsoft to do and outlook tasks which can follow for additional custom fields outside of your planner of course you can set reminders and view planner tasks in other 365 uh, documents after that you're going to be all set although you don't have the custom field but we were creative to add a field like effect here in microsoft planner using the labels thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video